Hey guys, it's your girl Brianna Queen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on easy beauty, simple DIY, as well as decor. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys my patio refresh, as well as how I keep it clean, uh, what it looks like these days. And I also took some of your suggestions and I did add additional pop of color. So, when so I'm starting off removing all of my furniture. I'm gonna be removing the patio furniture, the rugs, every single thing, because I'm going to first clean the floor and pressure wash. So you gotta remove everything, which you guys, I really don't like having to remove stuff and put it back, but that's what you gotta do when you gotta clean, right? Now I'm just sweeping all the dust, dirt, debris, everything I can, and then I'm going to first rinse off the patio, and I'm just rinsing off with a regular water hose. Now I'm gonna be cleaning with some mold and armor deck fence and patio wash. And apparently I can't read because this is for wood, not concrete, but I already bought it. So we're gonna use it, okay? And how this works is you first rinse your patio, then you go through with this and you let it sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. And then once you've let it sit, then you go ahead and you wash. And I rented out this power washer from Home Depot. I think it was like $35 for three hours. And you guys, that's not bad. So now I'm just going ahead and I am power washing, getting rid of all of the dirt, all of the gunk, all of the stains I can get rid of. So I had every intention of painting this concrete floor. I bought the paint, I bought the paint brushes, and at the last minute I was like, you know what? Kidding, I'm not gonna do this, I'm lazy. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I will not be painting the concrete floor. And honestly, I'm a terrible painter to begin with. So I'm going in taking the tree, I'm gonna go ahead and just fluff it up, make it look a little more alive and not so much dead. And you guys, it is a fake tree. I just really like to have a little bit of greenery in any room, especially the patio. Then I'm taking the rug, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you guys watched my previous video, you know that I bought this rug too big. So the way I fixed that is just putting the rug on top of the wall. And I'm just gonna sweep. And I generally sweep this rug at least every two weeks. I'm just going in and sweeping it again because I am gonna go back in and vacuum. A lot of you were saying that you don't recommend having a rug on the patio because of the dust, but I promise you guys, if you vacuum it, you will not have any dust. And I like to vacuum at least bi-weekly. Sometimes, you know, a little, maybe a month or two if it's cold outside. But if you vacuum this rug, it's been a year since I've had this rug and it still looks great as you can see. It still looks like new. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and rearrange my furniture back. And a little shameless promotion. I have a free decorate your home guide, completely free. I'll link that down below as well as up above for you to download my free decorate your home guide. So now I'm just going in and adding all of my little things. I have some sticks, I have my yellow ottoman, I have my planner, and all these things will be linked down below. Now, my seating looks dingy and I could not find anything on Amazon because you guys know we got this whole pandemic thing going on. So I was like, you know what? How about I try fabric spray paint? So we're trying this Rust-Oleum vinyl spray paint on the cushion. Technically, this is not vinyl, it is polyester. But I figured, you know what, let's just try it out. I will try it out for you, okay? So let's talk about this fabric spray paint. Let's talk about the pros and cons. So the pros is that it's cheap and it's available on Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, all your major retail box stores, those are the pros. The cons is 
you have to put lots and lots of layers because it sprays very thin layers. Another con is that it was very, very blotchy. Another con is that it did not feel great. Like once I spray painted this and it dried, it did not feel nice at all. I think you'd be better off buying some cushions or some cushion covers or maybe even just making your own from Joann's Fabrics, which is what I would have did if Joann's Fabrics would have been open. So as far as the spray paint, I do not recommend it, you guys. I, I didn't like it at all. I am not happy. You can kind of see where it's like spray paint on blotchy and it may be because this is for vinyl and I didn't have vinyl cushions, but either way, I just didn't like it and it's very blotchy. It did not spray evenly. And as I said before, once it dries, the texture just feels very prickly. If I would not recommend this if you actually will be sitting down. Now I am gonna go ahead and clean off the table. This this table stays dirty. It stays dirty, y'all, but we're gonna go ahead and clean that with a paper towel as well as some cleaner. And I will make sure to link this patio furniture down below. I know when I initially bought this, it was pretty cheap. I know the price has increased, but I've had this patio furniture for about three years now. And as you can see, it's still in pretty good shape. The only thing I have to do is just clean it and then as well as tighten the bolts and nails so that it does not fall apart. But other than that, I do think this is some really good patio furniture that's pretty budget friendly. So now I'm gonna place my yellow bases on my table. And I think when you're doing like a black and white kind of theme, I really think you should have like a really bright pop of color. And I also really like vases because vases just really bring out the decor. So one thing I decided this year was I wanted to add an additional pop of color. I wanted to add turquoise originally, but I decided on green. So let me show you guys how I'm doing some green decor on a budget. So I bought this candle pillar from the thrift shop, I wanna say two years ago, and it's just kind of collecting dust in my closet. So I decided I would take this candle pillar and I would spray paint it with some green spray paint. And to make things even cheaper, I found this green spray paint at Target on sale, 50% off. It's originally $5, which isn't bad to begin with, but I was able to get it for $2.48. And you guys know I love saving money on home decor and I love getting things on sale. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint this. And I was pleasantly surprised with this spray paint. It only required like one layer. One layer did some pretty good coverage. It dried pretty quickly and it was gorgeous once I spray painted it. I also have this turquoise tray that I found around the house that I'm not doing anything with. So I decided I would also spray paint that green for the patio. And I'm using the same exact can. This had a lot of coverage. As you guys can see, it has really great coverage. Just spray painting this entire thing green to add a little extra pop of color. And when you're redecorating on a budget, I am such a big fan of taking things that you already have and just adding some spray paint to it, adding a little extra something to it to just really renew it. And that way you're saving money and you're still using what you have. And it's also better for the environment because you're reusing what you already have. And I found this gold Christmas candle. I'm gonna add that because you know, green for the money, gold for the honey. <laughs> Lame, I know, I know. Don't use it against me, guys.
And because I use pillow covers, I was able to take the pillow covers off of the pillow and wash them. So I did do a spring clean, wash the pillows, vacuum the rug, wash the patio, wash the furniture. I told you guys it was a clean with me. Didn't I tell you guys that? And now I'm going in with some green and black and white pillows that I got from Amazon, some pillow covers. You guys know, like I said, I love me some pillow covers. I can take them off, I can wash them. If I get tired of a color, I can take it off and add a new color. So again, I will link this down below. But I really liked these pillows because they, they still kind of go with the theme, but they're also a little safari-ish, tropical-ish, I guess. So going ahead and adding those green throw pillows to my patio for an addition pop of color. So this is my clean with me updated patio with a few little refreshes and touches. Hope you guys enjoyed this patio refresh. If you did, let me know down below. Give me a comment, give me a question, give me a suggestion, give me a yes girl, give me something down below. And do not forget to thumbs up this video. Pin to your Pinterest board as well so you can reference this video later. In addition, if you have not checked out my lazy vegetable garden video, I will link that as well for my next video. You guys stay healthy, happy, beautiful, and blessed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>